Ebenezer Scrooge may have been visited by the ghost of Christmas past, but Video Games Monthly will give you a glimpse of your video game past. What's inside the new Video Games Monthly subscription box? I know, I know, Christmas has come and gone. Although for some weirdos on social media, you'll be sharing images of how many days down before the next Christmas. Let's not fast forward through 2020 just yet, Jack. After all, this is the decade. This is the Barbara Walters decade, the year of 2020. Some people won't get that joke. Every single month, Video Games Monthly will deliver to you a selection of retro games, perhaps from your past. It may not be as painful as some of the memories that Ebenezer had to go through, but you'll probably have good memories opening up one of these boxes every single month, delightfully letting out a girlish glee and be reminded of the games that you used to grow up in yesteryear, which I think yesteryear was in 1987. I'm not 100% certain. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up, find out what trinkets may not be underneath our tree, but certainly will be inside this box. Now, there is no seal on the front. This came inside of a larger mailing envelope, so no cutting is required, at least not that I'm aware of. We're gonna go ahead and get this open up, get a gander at what we've got going on inside. First thing we have is the VideoGamesMonthly.com card. This little index card tells us, we hope you enjoy your latest box. Please update your library on the website by adding these games and any other games you may have acquired. All updates to your library must be made seven days prior to the end of the month. Video Games Monthly is a monthly subscription service that delivers retro video games to gamers who own classic gaming systems from the 80s all the way up to the 2000s. One of my New Year's resolutions is to see how fast I can talk. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere close to that Micro Machines guy. What's that guy's name? Somebody's going to tell me down below. Visit our website for an up-to-date list of available systems. Of course, to be aware of, the library must also be updated seven days before the end of the month. So to ensure that the game's coming around every single month in these boxes of delights, you won't get any duplicates, triplicates, or quadruplicates. Why do you have that many of the same game? Uh, that is one guarantee. So always make sure you update your library. The first thing we have right now, as visibly showing in front of us here, is Life Force by Konami. Still one of the contenders for the Konami code. You can use the Konami code and get 30 lives on Life Force. Life Force was a title that I specifically grow up and remember very well growing up and playing at a friend's house named Jason. Jason. He was the one that played the Nintendo mostly. It was Jason and Doug were my two Nintendo guys. Uh, I was a Sega guy because my parents decided to get me a Sega Master System back in the day when Sears, Sears only had Segas. I don't know how that worked, but they did not have Nintendos. Just think of the course of time correction would have been made if Sears had only stocked Nintendo during that one Christmas season. Anyways, Life Force was a game I really quite loved, and uh, really cool monsters and stuff like that as well, like these those end bosses. I think one of them, the final boss of the first stage, was the giant brain, if memory serves me correctly. Life Force, what a classic title, all thanks to Jason, my Nintendo guy. He was Nintendo guy 1, Doug was Nintendo guy 2, only because I went to Jason's house more often. The next title we got inside here is the Nintendo GameCube release of TMNT. Notably, one Ninja Turtle movie I didn't care for as much. Supposed uh, somewhat continuation, I suppose, of the original Turtles, uh, uh, the original 90s Turtles uh, uh, movie series. Honestly speaking, though, I just didn't care for this as much as the original live action films. Uh, that was just me. It's a one player game. It supports a memory card that uses 13 blocks. Now, that may seem like a lot back in the day, but when you imagine how much a PlayStation 4 occupies space-wise when you ever add a new game, you simply just can't decide one day, I'm going to play this game that I've never played before. You could certainly pull that off in the older Nintendo consoles. You certainly can't pull that off on a PlayStation. You have to wait the hours, the days sometimes it seems, to install a game fully before you can actually get into playing the game. Uh, I don't think I've ever played this one in all honesty, so I'm going to give it the college try and uh, see if it's any bit good. Next inside, we've got a Game Gear title. How cool is that? And it still seal seems sealed. Even cooler. The bottom is open, but uh, it definitely does look like it's still sealed and brand new. 
This is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Game Gear. A Christmas, so ironically enough, another Christmas gift. There was something about me and, and, and Sega during the holiday season. I was always getting like Sega things instead of Nintendo until later on. Uh, this was apparently at Ames at one point for $19.99, which seems high when you think about it, that this is a portable game, and it was running for about $20. The, the graphics look just as good, I would say, as the original uh, Sega system, Sega Genesis. Very, very cool. My Sega Genesis guy, by the way, was Brian. So I had like reaches out to all specific friends for specific consoles. Now, before you judge me, I did also like hanging out with them as well. It wasn't certainly a case where it's, well, I just feel like playing Nintendo again. And I'm going through my Rolodex that I would have had when I was 10 years old to pull out Doug's phone number. It wasn't like that. I actually liked hanging out with them as well. The benefit, of course, was the fact that they also had uh, the Nintendo systems. This is the uh, Spider-Man and X-Men. Speaking of Sega Genesis... And uh, this is Arcade's Revenge. I like the graphics on the front, the illustrations that they put in there. Uh, Spider-Man's head kind of looks a bit more like an egg than normal. Storm's legs just kind of look like a post, like she's uh, like one of the lawn ornaments that you just stick in the ground. Cyclops doesn't look bad. Wolverine looks like he's got fangs. He's apparently a vampire. That's really cool, though. A nice Sega Genesis game to add to my collection. Oh, and speaking of classics, this would have been Doug. This was Doug, one of his games. The original Bomberman. This is Bomberman Hero, however, for Nintendo 64. I don't have this one either. Again, I'm updating my library on a regular basis. I don't know why that is the symbol for regular basis, so that consecutively every single month I'm getting brand new titles from the folks over at Video Games Monthly. If you guys are also interested in following Video Games Monthly, they have various social media pages as well as even their own YouTube page. I'll provide all those links down below. If you are certainly also interested in subscribing to the Video Games Monthly... Uh, oh, we got one other thing! Here I am wrapping things up. Producers were thinking that the end of show was nearby. We got ourselves also a Video Games Monthly Light, a nice bright light that can light our darkest hour, or certainly the back of this box. It's really cool as well. Again, if you guys are interested in subscribing, don't have a pen and piece of paper handily, readily available, that's okay. Videogamesmonthly.com. It's as simple as that. It couldn't be any bit simpler to remember that website. Videogamesmonthly.com. You can subscribe, and you can also certainly follow them on various social media outlets, because they have ongoing contests. Like to win free stuff? I certainly like to win free stuff. Who doesn't? Videogamesmonthly.com. Follow them on social media. And, of course, subscribe and get one of these boxes to deliver to your house every single month. Today we were having a look at, I suppose, the December box. Specific to me, of course, based on my own library specifics. Certainly it would be different for yours. If you guys did get your Video Games Monthly box in the mail, let me know your contents down below. It was like kind of comparing. What did you get? What did I get? What did you have for lunch? I had a bologna sandwich. I had egg salad sandwich. Ooh, egg salad sandwich. I'll stick with the bologna sandwich. Also, if you are new to this channel or a longtime viewer, maybe never got around to it, that's okay. Hit that subscribe button down below periodically, head on over to the homepage, and see if there's anything that you may have missed along the way. We're going to certainly have a whole lot of stuff going your way, windshield wiper finger aside. This is, after all, the year of Barbara Walters. This is 2020. There's going to be a whole lot of videos coming your way for this upcoming year, so keep your peepers peeled for that. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.